man, you know you're not really getting 50% open rates, 30%, 70 For real? I'm going to let you know whether these people are lying or not. And if it is true, just if it's true how they're doing. I get good results, and I'm going to show you how I get those results with my email marketing campaigns. All right? Stay tuned. See you in a little bit. What's going on? In this video, I'm going to be showing you uh, three helpful tactics that can help you increase your open rates drastically, getting up to that 50% open rate or close to it. That's really a strong number, 50%. You're probably realistically looking between maybe 10 to 25, which is really good, barring that today's marketing has really uh, educated the typical person, <laughs> the typical consumer. So I'm going to put you on game right now how I'm doing it and how other people are doing it as well. And so that you can do it, right? Now, before I go ahead and jump in, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell icon by the subscribe button so that anytime I drop some hot fire content, you will get notified. Uh, and also, I think I already said drop some comments down below, but share this video. If there's anything that you like about this, please share it with your friends um, so that they could get entertained and get some good results as well tip number one get a good autoresponder the autoresponder is key because if you have a horrible autoresponder none of this stuff is going to work a lot of people are using aweber get response uh convert kit active campaign mailchimp those are all good and they all have their own special abilities for a specific targeted niche okay that's another thing some of these platforms are good for affiliate marketers such as myself, while others may be better for the for the blogger. It's just kind of how it works because they're used to these types of individuals using their software. So it kind of caters towards that market. Now, platforms such as Active Campaign boasts in having in having like a 97.8 percent deliverability rate or something like that is something insane. OK, it's far better than most of the average. It's better than. Uh, a Weber and get response, which those are decent. Well, I take that back. They're good auto responders. They just don't get the deliverability rate like active campaign. And this is stuff that's statistically proven. This isn't me just making up some numbers. Well, the 97 number is something like this, like 97 or 98 percent. It's one of those, but it far exceeds other auto responders out there by a long shot. So I use active campaign for my business. I have a 14 day free trial link that you could use down below. You can go ahead and use it. Click it, open up your account and go through some of the stuff and test it out for yourself. Number two, this is probably next to having a very good, reliable uh, platform. You really want to make sure that you have attention grabbing headlines for your subject lines. This is important because before anybody sees the inside of your email, the first thing that everybody will see is the headline or the subject line within their inbox. If that is not interesting, then they are not going to open up the rest of your email. So for those of you who are wondering how come I'm not getting clicks and sales and things like that outside of just the open rate, that is key right there. But if you have a pretty good subject line, you can just do some research and say top subject lines of 2000, whatever. OK, for the year, right? There's trending topics. You can plug some of those things within the subject line and increase your subject line open rate immensely. It's just like whenever you scroll through YouTube and you see a weird video with a crazy thumbnail, you don't even know what it's about. You just have to click it because the thumbnail has attracted the click. And that's what you do with the email. So before you just go ahead and create an email and press the send button, sending out your campaigns or broadcasts, please do some t some some research and take your time on creating an attention grabbing subject line for your emails tip number three this is probably the most secretive okay it's not even that it's a secret but it's more so a lot of people claim email is good but they're not really email marketers they've had some luck here and a few things or they just have this huge list and it took them a whole bunch of time or they spent tons of money building that huge list when in actuality you could do way more better with the list the fraction of a size 
and you do that by something called segmentation. Segmentation is when you have a big list and then you break that big list up into small little chunks. So if I had a list of 20,000 and I send out the email and only 20 of those people open up, my open rate is going to be horrendous. But if I know that 10,000 of those individuals are not interested in the subject that I'm sending an email about, I can move that 10,000 and create a whole new different list with that 10,000. Let's say, for example, that new segment of individuals love real estate. And I love talking about affiliate marketing, which I do because I'm an affiliate coach. So now I've broken my list of 20,000 of affiliate marketing list into 10,000 and 10,000. Okay, 10,000 in my affiliate marketing list and 10,000 in my real estate um, list. Now when I send those emails and a certain amount opens up here and a certain amount opens here, that number for the open rate will increase. Okay, I just recently grew a list with free leads using some specific strategies online with YouTube and landing pages. If you're interested in that, please go ahead and check the video that I'm putting up here right now. <clears throat> I did this in a very short time. Free leads or more better, higher targeted leads, more than paid leads. I'll get into that stuff later. But I sent out an email and my open rate was near 30%, which means I had about 20 something to 30 people open up that email over the course of that day. But if that, if I would have grown that list to a thousand and only 30 people opened it, my open rate goes down drastically. So you really want to make sure that you're segmenting your lists and decreasing the total size so that your numbers could be a whole lot better when it comes to open rates. So I think that's about it. Hopefully that made a whole bunch of sense to you guys. If not, just drop me some comments down below. Uh, if you got questions, I love to reply to those comments and questions in the comment section under the video. Please check out the description under my video because I'm giving you a free video course on email. How to get those open rates up and everything active campaign. Remember, I got a free link for you that will help you get that 14 day free trial using active campaign. Subscribe to my YouTube channel because I want to see you guys again. And if you want to know how I use email marketing in order to build a $10,000 per month business, hit that link down below under the video as well. It's full legitimate online business. This is something that you can carry on with you, pass on to the next generation of your kids and all that stuff. Generational wealth is what you have to think about long term, not just short term um, wealth. So we'll see you guys in the next video. We'll talk to you later.